Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can combine multiple animations to a character in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the video useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I am using a mixer mode to get the characters and animation. So here I am using this character and I got few animations. So I have selected this animation and few walk cycles and also I have selected this jump animation. So select the animations which you like and first of all, let's download this animation. So I will download this one. So make sure the format is FBX and download it with skin and download and next select any of the animation you like download and now we can download without skin we need only animation we don't character so download this one. So once you have downloaded let's import this character along with the animation in blender. So here I'm using blender 4.3 version okay. So first of all let's delete this default by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's import our character with animation. So go to this file option import it is an fbx file so select this fbx and locate the file so here i got the animation so first i will select this sneak walk and import fbx so first import the character that has skin so here i got the character right so let's get the texture also okay so now you can see we got this character along with the armature so now if i play this you can see we got our character but it stops after 29th frame so first thing we need to do is we need to make this animation loop so for that simply hover mouse onto this timeline press a to select all the keyframes press shift e e for elephant and make cyclic so now if i play this we will get the animation throughout the timeline but our character will be snapping to its origin position so let's fix that so now change this to graph editor make sure this arm is selected now select any of the curve here so select any of the curve here change this to modifier options and select come to this after mode and change this to repeat with offset now copy this modifier simply click on the modifier now hover onto this space press a to select rest of the keyframes and paste this modifier so let's change this to timeline once again and now if i play this we'll have a character walking throughout the timeline nice so now let's change this to dope sheet and let's bring another window here let's expand this one and let's bring it here and let's change this to nla editor non-linear animation now change this to action editor so first of all let's rename this armature so i will rename this armature to one so this is the first animation and here also i will rename this as one so now click on this push down button to get the strip in nla editor so now we got the strip right so if i play this it stops after this frame because the strip is not extended so let's come to this extra strip option let's bring it here once again and here you can see end frame right let's change this to 250 frames okay so now we will get the thing so now let's import another animation and add it to this character so for that let's change this to single window so that it is not confusing and let's change this to time frame so now let's import another animation so go to this file import fbx and now i will select this running and import so now we got only this armature right we are not getting the character because we have downloaded without skin so first thing is we need to make this loop so hover your mouse onto this space press a to select all the keyframes shift plus e e for elephant and select this make cyclic so now we got this in loop so now we need to make this animation walking continuously in this axis so change this to graph editor now select any of the graph here so i have selected this graph now change this to modifier option and after mode change this to repeat with offset copy that modifier place the cursor here on the space press a to select rest of the keyframes sorry rest of the graphs and paste the modifier now we will have this running throughout the timeline so if you observe here the pace or the speed of the animation is here slow and here it is fast so now we need to match the position of this animation onto this armature so before to that we need to add strip for this animation also right so let's change this to dope sheet and let's change this to action editor let's rename this one i will rename this to two and also rename this to second animation now let's bring another window and let's change this to non-linear animation 
okay so i think this is visible only so now let's hide out this second armature now select the first armature here and add second animation onto that so now we got two animations onto the same armature so now click on this push down button okay so let's select this second one so if i hide this one you can see we got this animation in this strip and if i enable this one we got this running animation in this strip so in this second strip we will have the running animation right so it is up to here so let's extend this to 250 frames so now if i disable this one we have this crouch animation if i enable this one we got the running animation so now i need to transfer or i need to blend these both animations so after 60 frames i want this crouch animation to be turning out in running animation right so i will be at the 60th frame now select this first strip right click split strips and i will delete this portion this side of portion so now we need to match the position here so let's hide this let's select this one so at 60th frame our character is at this position so now we need to match the second animation so let's bring it back here so at 60 frames this is at this position but we want our character to be here right so let's select the second strip and drag it behind so that it comes onto this position so now okay you can see we got this onto the position right now select the second strip right click and split strips and delete this position okay so now we will have this animation from this position but our first animation is not playing so select this second strip let's expand this one so now come to this extrapolation options change this from hold to nothing so now we will have this first animation also so if i play this we got the first animation and we got the second animation but it is jumping right you can see at single frame only it is getting that position so now we need to blend this thing so let's bring this here a bit now select this second strip here we got this blending option let's increase the value here a bit okay so now if i play this you can see we got this blending so now in the same way if you want to add third animation you can do that so i will show you how to do that also so first of all i will make this as a timeline in order to avoid confusion now let's import our third animation so go to this file option import fbx so now i will select this jump import so first thing is we need to make this animation a loop right so press a to select all the keyframes shift e and make cyclic and now this will be in loop let's make it to run in this axis so change this to graph editor sorry change this to graph editor select any of the graph after more change this to repeat with offset copy the modifier hover onto this position press a to select rest of the curves and paste the modifier now this animation will be jumping throughout the timeline now we need to match the speed or position of this armature so now let's change this to dope sheet and let's divide the window and let's bring an LA editor okay and let's rename this as third now hide this third armature select the first armature and select the third animation and click on this push down button so now we got this third animation on the same line or layer so go to this track and add track and let's bring the third above so let's move it above here okay and let's change this time length to 250 so here we got this third animation completely onto our character so let's disable this thing so at 110th frame i want that animation to be onto our character so the position is let's mark the position so this is the position okay so let's bring back this third animation and we need to match with the position right so let's scroll it behind so i think this is okay now right click split strips select this strip here delete this one now we need to blend this so select the strip here extrapolation change this to nothing so that we can play this before animations and come to this blending option and give it some value so now if i play this we will have this animation accordingly 
So in this way we can add multiple animations to a single character in Blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then signing off. Take care. Bye.